And welcome back. This is Kotal for War Rights event. We have the second week for the uh, War of Secession event. Um, this is uh, that new tabletop event held on Sundays at 8 p.m. EST. This map is Hill's Counterattack. 192 is the total count. A 97 on the CSA attacking, 95 on the defending Union. Now on the big board, this is... Oh, good. I just looked at HL Hampton's Legion is attacking a 32nd Ohio's piece, 30 up in the, kind of the northern part of the battlefield. Um, now, the sides have switched because of the uh, the map choice, so the CSA in-game here is actually the CSA, is actually the Union in the campaign, and vice versa. But, um... No, no it's not. No it's not, no it's not. That's the next map. Never mind, disregard all that. 5 at 43, already shoots at 42, normal rules on that. Let's take a look at these two teams. I got the tokens right, but the, the sides which you know. Looks like we got HL back here under Snapperkins. Then we've got on the infantry side we got Colonel Bocephus. We've got Major Andor from the MB. We've got Ricks from the 79th. We've got 10th Tennessee Major Ket. We've got 8th Alabama under My Name Rider. We've got oh MB Major Provost also has a cannon. And we've got HL under Captain Gene and Sergeant Major Wilkes. We're already live, by the way, so we're already off the races here. So I'm going to try to do these as we go here. First VA is on the Union team with under First Sergeant Johnson. We've got 7AL under Second Lieutenant Disco. We've got Corporal Tiberius leading the 83rd Pennsylvania. 32nd Ohio under King Bomb. We've got IB under Major WLL. We've got 9th Corps under Brutish. I, I thought we were going to say that. Let's see. Then we've got 123rd under Danson. Fourth West Virginia under Colonel Lightburn. And somebody's over here. Who is this? Is this IB? Oh, this is 20th New York under Sergeant Tory? Second Lieutenant Halo. Probably Halo. All right. I think that's everybody. If I missed you, I do apologize. Let's see here. Kind of give you a quick overview of the map. CSA spawn along with their arty. Point of contention right there in the middle of the field, and Union spawn. Looks like the Union has massed up on their right. They have only left the 20th as a small skirmishing force on the opposite side. The CSA has mirrored that and is lining up here. To start getting. Looks like they're going to start doing some distance volleying to begin with. We'll see how the Union responds to this. So this will be the second battle for the 32nd Ohio token. Um, so they already got engaged earlier, so they, they've already been beat up a little bit here. So this is Hampton's Legion is fresh. Their token is fresh, though. We will see how they, uh, they engage in this battle now. Have a small movement forward by another scouting element. It's Ricks in the 79th. Might just be looking to get some sharpshooters in position. So far, really not much engagement yet. We will see what kicks off here in the next few minutes. This game is called War Rights. It is a first-person shooter in the Civil War. Each one of these people are an individual soldier, or an individual player, I should say. And it looks like we got a charge, so we will hold off on the rest of that intro and see how this charge with Wilkes in the lead goes. It is a mass charge, and, I, and as I like to say, if you're going to charge, you're going to charge together. Don't, don't do it by yourself. And the CSA is doing that right now. We will see how the Union can try to weather this attack here. Now, they did draw a dusk um, roll, so that's why the sun is a little bit low in the field. And the next battle will also be in dusk as well. Here comes HL in the front. Gonna run to 123rd. And it, here comes. The, New line, boys, right there, gentlemen. Looks like 123rd was a bit of a breaker here for the rest of the Union. We'll see if the Union element can hold here. Their lines are a little bit, um, you know, they're blocking some of the lines of fire here. I don't know about this. Let's see. They might be able to hold it. But I think this is going to quickly become a ticket sink for the Union. Shoot their flag. CSA right now is happy to shoot it out with them, and to be honest with you, I don't blame them. 
I think they're gonna. Well, you can see the tickets. Uh, it's about even right now, but. Uh, Damn boys, they got six where they took me down. Yeah, they actually have enough to push them if they want. Right about from these gentlemen. Make sure you're figuring out. Oh, oh. Hold fire! I think our friends are pushing. Our friends are pushing. No, oh, and this union does pull back. Uh, this was going to be needed. In fact, these leftovers do need to get back here, or they're going to get hit down the line. Uh, cover on the other side. Face down this fence. One for Peak, one for Valley. Get those kids. So now the uh, union has been moved all the way back here to this position, although I wonder if... Yeah, that's what I was one wondering. Man, one man proposed. One man proposed. Now four. One man proposed. CSA has pushed them back. One proposed. One proposed. Uh, was that a? I'm not sure what that was. Was a cancer shot? Thirty-eight minutes, and the uh, CSA has been able to secure the right side or the union rights. Um, and push the Union back to this fence line here. And, and to be honest with you, as concentrated as this fire is, I don't imagine the Union will be able to stay here for long, so long as the CSA concentrates its fire. Same thing for the Union. I think if they concentrate their fire, they'll be in, in decent shape here. But it uh, looks like they've rotated several elements out here. 32nd Ohio has moved out here along with the Irish Brigade. Tuck it in on the fence. Over on this side, that means there's going to be an imbalance for the troops over here. We'll see how long the Union can hold this position. The key right now, I would say, is to concentrate your fire. If I was a CSA, I would try to kind of punch a hole in the middle here and separate it. It's, you know, it's kind of weak cover right here with the, uh, the, the fence that really doesn't give you any cover at all. And then for the Union, I'd kind of do the same thing, try to knock these guys off out here. They're in the center. Hey, hey, boys, MSP Try to knock it out. Alabama, get out of there, get out of there. Pull the flag and get out, get out, yep. get out. Gene Pull saw it. Gene saw the weak point. Pull back, back, point. Pull back, Pull back. Everyone flag down, pick it up, flag down. Everyone, so. everyone flag down, pick it up. We're not moving. Wright is going to try to get his guys out of there. They can get that flag up. It looks like it might be uh, glitched at the moment. Which can happen, unfortunately. Already shot coming in. Looked pretty good to me. I didn't see too many go down, but I wasn't really in a position. And the CSA has actually opted to pull back. That is an interesting decision here. Um, short on that already shot. Um, they were starting to get behind on the ticket. Yeah, they were about even on the tickets. I'd say still a hair ahead. So I, I don't know why they uh, pulled out. I, I'm kind of curious now. Load and shift. Especially now that you got these Load union elements shift. that have rotated out here. Um, that are going to be doing distance firing. It's, it's it's hard to be effective at that range. Um, and so you would have a pretty sizable advantage if you just focused on this unit down here with the RD and the infantry. So we'll see what uh, what HL, Mr. Gene, is thinking. Let's go, MB, let's or Gene go. and Wilkes, I should say. I'm not sure who's overall command, who's doing kind of the tactical stuff, who's doing the higher operational stuff. We'll see. Well, Wilkes looks like he's going to try to eat up some of these small units out here. That might not be a bad idea. Um, the Union, in the meantime, is going to rotate back out to its previous position. We're at 35 minutes 30, and Union still halfway through battle ready is not a bad position. Uh, not great, not terrible, I guess. We'll see if this uh, play by the HL pays off here with some good ticket dividends. But the already kind of continues to soften up the union up there. It's the core. See, we got uh, who do we got back here? We got 32nd Ohio and IB back here. It's over here. Hooks has found a new target. Fuck out of here. Yeah. So uh, one criticism I will have on this, I would have maybe taken more of a perpendicular angle to cut off the retreat spread it out, spread it out. Um, for the IB. Uh, they kind of came a little bit more straight on, so, you know, they were able to get away uh, better. And it's, it's not an easy thing to do, but, yeah, you, if you're trying to cut off the retreat of the enemy force if you can. I wouldn't up and over either. I would just continue down here as well. Hurry, on the line. I'm it's 20th. 
get some little pop shots in. Eh, not a bad volley there by HL. What were you saying? Pushing back a little bit further, not really getting the well, they, Again, they, they're doing okay on tickets. <laughs> back to the other side of the field. What's up, Lightburn? Three flags down. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh. Got all the mass of the Union all together over here. Check. Check. Line's ready. You got CQB in this event? Okay. I didn't know CQB was in this event. Take aim. Take aim. Take aim. Take aim. Ready. I missed him on the intro. Fire. Yep, that hit him. Take it's drop. What kind of volley was that? I don't know, but uh, I think we need to reform. Yeah, we got a dresser, right? You want to load a dress right to your first sergeant society? Hey, decoys. Yep. You find a hole. We're gonna be on your right, okay? Copy that. Way short on that orange shot. Kid dead. Catch dead. Catch dead. I can take see aim. Can Down see the same right position there. we've been aiming at. Take same aim. position. Take aim. Fire. Ah. No. Oh, why the left side don't push up and take the yeah. cover? Sure. Because the lines are ready. Yeah. 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 Play a bit defensively right now. We kind of want to just get our bearings at the moment because our first charge is kind of a lackluster. I'll be honest. We want to kind of. Stay Gentlemen, okay. on my line, take aim in the force again. That's take smoke. Take aim. Steady no. Steady no. Steady no. Fire! Nice, you gosh darn word, gentlemen. Yo, damn low. Not much to say at the moment, to be honest with you. Um, we kind of zoom out here. We kind of see what's going on. So you still got the main Union element here defending very strong on this Union position right here. You have a, you know, about some force over here with the CSA, but not enough to push them. The CSA rotated a lot stronger force out to this other side over here. Um, the Union does have some men over here to, to deal with them in the corn, and it's kind of stocked them up using the corn to kind of, kind of slow them down here. The Artie is shooting, but. Not seeing too many super effective splashes. Maybe I'm just not on them. It needs to be. It is dead even on sides, so. And as far as tickets go, it's, you, it's definitely CSA advantage right now. They're ahead of them. And the pace is... Okay. Yeah, brother. B Company out. B Company out. B Company... My bayonet on. Looks like Wilkes is going to try for a different angle here. See if it works a little bit better for him. Without a fear bus. Stay on the start. It's like Brutus is moving up the ninth core, along with other <laughs> elements. Supporting up with 7th AL. Delicious human red wine. Here now, this fence has been destroyed here, which does change up the battlefield very interestingly. Now, a lot easier to pop out and get shots now, and the Union has seen that. Hey, they're back here. What is that, Ditko? Fuck was that? Well, I don't just wait. Alright, seventh. Oh, on my third, one. Single new rank. line. Aim. Okay, third. Shift a new line. Take aim. 
Looks like we got potentially an attack developing here with 10th Tennessee. Shooting a little bit high on that. Load, load, load. Good, See, now we got an attack developing uh, here uh, by the 8th Alabama. Pretty good movement here by the 8th Alabama and the 10th Tennessee working in tandem. And maybe that already is, a, is being more effective than I'm giving you credit for. Just looking at the destruction of this uh, fence here. I'll try to stay around here a little bit more and see if I catch any of those shots. You got him on point. Right. So, capped. Interesting. Uh, well, it was HL. It's their token, so that was not a mistake. That was intentional to cap there. It's all over, just a small group. How many? Jonas. It's like a little. It's a regiment. Company, it's like on point. Uh, it's actually, we have two companies on point. We're going to be Steve on star. Oh, the artillery. Artists look for the blue flag. Yeah, that Right now you can see this CSA force here is kind of rotating out. They're kind of expecting this force that's over here to, to jump down towards point and they're setting up to uh, kind of ambush it. Uh, which could be very deadly if they do. Looks like we got another major fight going on over here, though. With MB here engaging two elements. The IB. And I believe the 4th West Virginia, the Pathfinders. Stupid camera, go away. Oh, I can't open over on the left there, problem solved. <laughs> Hey, direct northwest. No. Oh, that's Can I <laughs> Kill that guy. Kill that guy that's hopping over now. Never mind. So looks like the Union has massed a pretty powerful fist down here. We got 83rd, 9th Corps, 1st VA. Several units down here. They might be getting ready for a push on point. Yep, and let's first go, VA. Go. The Cav is the first one out the uh, out of the trench. And here they come. We'll see if their allies go and help them. Yep, here they're on the move as well. You see, the CSA has set up a decent line up here to kind of ambush them. Uh, not as effective shots as it could have been, to be honest with you. Looks like First VA weathered that storm pretty well. And I do like having a restraining force up here in the form of 123rd and 7th AL to try to restrain that element a little bit. And here comes an attack from HL. 83rd isn't the first one in there. Try to stop him. HL stopping to put in a hell of a volley into him. We've got another rotation down here. Who is this? This is Ryder coming in from the 8th Alabama. We'll see if the Union can hold long enough to get the point back. And CSA has moved up enough troops now to contest the point. And this could be true prove pretty... Uh, if the Union doesn't get additional support on point, this could become disastrous. Because these units here will get torn to pieces. So that means either these guys got to move up... Boy, these guys got to move up. But if this just stays here unsupported, they will get massacred by the CSA. And we can see a defeat in detail. And that might lead to a complete and total collapse. And that, I think, is exactly what's happening right now. The wing, both of the wings, frankly, I think are screwing up right now. And the guys in the center here are going to take, I mean, 9th Corps, you can charge in if you want. That's not going to change your situation, to be honest with you. All you gotta do is give them a lot of tickets. Good discipline here by the HL. 83rd is going in now. It's again, it's not enough. Now they're coming in. It's too late. Why do I say it's too late? Those guys already charged in. Now you come down. They got plenty of time to get their loads in. Here comes 123rd, 8th Alabama, here to receive them. 
15 minutes. I agree with that suggestion there by Major Kett. Clear this off. And then you could even turn around and hit that in detail. This go is going to pull his men back, and frankly, yeah, if you're going to go, you had to go in earlier. It's too late now. And we see this force in the center pulling off here. And this force over here was restrained by the PB. Along with, who is this? The MB has kept the IB bottled up over here. So that was a very solid defense by the CSA. And was able to easily counter that move by the Union. That has really gained an advantage on tickets. 14 minutes 55 remaining on the counterattack clock. And we can see now they're starting to, uh, short on the Artie. Looks like 8th Alabama is rotating back up. Um, to that previous position. I liked how they had set up earlier. This will allow them to have good shots here on the Union in this position and kind of push them back a little bit further. Now, I'm being a little bit critical on these guys because there is steam chat, so you should be able to coordinate charges. Um, it's not like it's, you know, a uh, TSA where there's no steam chat and you're going to have to kind of go off visual or runners. You get, you've got all the options you need to uh, coordinate charges, and that one was not a good one. Be, to be honest about it. So we got a movement out here. Is this uh, PB? No, oh, it's Wilkes. They, uh, they've done their job in the center, and now they want to uh, refocus on this fight over here. So good maneuvering by the HL here, keeping the fight going. Um, but IB is doing a decent job as well, getting back into the relative safety of the corn there, although Wilkes might catch a few no, of them. No. He might catch a few of these coming out. Not too many, actually. Looks like they got away just in time. Lost a few, but not, not as many as they could have been. Take back up here, see what we got. Got MSG over here as well. I don't know if I called him out. I think I feel like I missed them. That was a sneaky snipe. Everyone went from his teeth. I'm not It looks like we have an attack developing here on this side between those two elements. These two have been a pretty good team this whole time. Sixth Al six, seventh Alabama looks like they had the trip force. We'll see if they can stop them. We're going to point. We're going to reloads. We're shifting. One point third. Form right there. Formal new line. One point third. Like Dance is going to try to reinforce the seventh over here. We're making a play for point. All right, so they are making a play for points. Who's down here? It is 9th Corps, 83rd. This time the CSA is not really in as good a position to prevent this. We'll see if they can manage it. See if those troops over there can get down and contest the point in time. I would also say these elements out here, if they want to contest the point, they need to charge in. Uh, but we will see. See that uh, element from 10th Tennessee in it. East Alabama moving up. Okay, this time IB came into support, so this is a little bit more secure this time. Here comes the attack from 10th Tennessee and other elements, but not a full charge in. Charge in. Charge, charge, charge. 
All right, now we tell Bam and the machine came in, but it's a little separated. A little separated, guys. Got to go in together. And the Union succeeded in recapping, although the CSA achieved the overall objective of really knocking down their tickets quite a bit. So even though it's even, the Union's now very close to taking losses, and they're going to continue to lose a lot of men as they retreat as well. Get this flag up. Shoot in the ass. And they could even recap and do it again if they want. Shoot their flag, boys. Shoot their flag. Shoot the flags. Are right. Oh, my God. Is that a union? No, that's on on me, boys. It's I don't know why 123 is hanging out there. That they, they should get out of there. I don't see their officer right now. He might have gotten killed, but... Yeah, you don't want to stay there. All right, let's see the next move here. I imagine right now we'll see if CSA they might try to shoot it out for a little bit. Now they've made up plenty of time with that previous maneuver that they did. And, uh, you know, 27 close to taking losses is a pretty good position to be in. So they might try to get them down to uh, taking losses, maybe even breaking before making another play on point. We will see. It looks like the IB is going to rotate back out to this side and try to flank. Is this Wilkes? This is uh, HL. Zoom out here, kind of see the battlefield. So basically, CSA is in two main formations. You got the formation here um, on CSA left, and you got a stronger formation down here. Union is kind of inverse. They have the stronger formation over here. One unit in the center, although I imagine they're going to move over to the side. And then this force over here. So this does create a bit of a mismatch. And uh, so far, the IB and the you know 20th units down here have been doing a solid job of using the corn. Uh, Fourth West Virginia here as well, using the corn and these these fences to kind of poke at these elements without getting decisively engaged. You saw that volley came in. They lost a f maybe one or two, but really not much. Uh, I see one guy there. Maybe yeah, I just see one. So. Good job by them to kind of draw enemy fire and waste the time a bit. Now the question is, what else, you know, is that enough? Uh, we'll see if this this element up here can beat them. You know, they're facing CQB, MSG, 10th Tennessee, and I believe 8th Alabama up here. You got multiple Union regiments. In fact, the rest of the team that I didn't mention down there. Up on me, boys, move it up. Gomer Kyle hanging out. Where's Gomer? Where is he? Hanging out. Not an even trade on that between 9th Corps and 8th Alabama, from what I can tell. Up shots because both are in concealment. Right, they're down, they're down. Where's Morgan? Morgan down. Get up there, boss. Quickly. I see a flag moving. Take uh, aim. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, guys. Let's charge him. Let's charge him. We outnumber him. Let's charge him. Charge him. Charge him. Charge him. I want my bayonet. I don't want my bayonet. Here they are. Charge, 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 charge. And they say charge. Squid, no. Get up there, boys. And a decent charge by the Union. See if they can knock out this flag here. Yep, that was a successful charge by the Union. That has wiped out that element there. Eighth Alabama. Remember, Robinson, you're the prime target. He's higher Yang teams on your fucking left. I got one over there. Uh, it was about two regiments. Hit that fence. Seven out here in the center. See, with that charge there, the Union was able to even up the tickets. They still haven't had taken losses, but I, I would say that was still a very good charge. You can defeat a unit that's isolated, do it. Um, it looks like a, this is probably Wilkes down here is going to make another move for Cap. 
Wilkes. So again, same setup here. Um, and it looks like Wilkes is going to go for Caps. So we'll see how that goes. He's got the MWB kind of supporting his flank here against the IB. But they have been pushed back by that IB. Not volley, but they're, they're, they're engaging. Right, right we are holding fire, Humpus. Hold fire, hold yeah, fire. Hold fire, y'all. Who's this over here? Ethan New York? Taking losses. And the CSA will cap. And the CSA is also at taking losses now. But now, uh, with that cap, now that it was taking losses for both, even on ticket seven minutes, I think that was absolutely the right decision there by Mr. Wilkes. You'll we'll see how the union reacts to it. This is interesting. So Wilkes has decided to push forward here to maybe try to restrain the IB, maybe Stay catch him. Down, boys. Get ready for a fight. Form line, form line. I like the aggression here. So HL is going to pull off, even though they had the advantage. But the problem is, with all that smoke in the corn, you have no idea how much is in the corn. So, um, even though he had more, you know, he had no way of knowing it. So, um, I could see him not wanting to impale himself without having real knowledge there. But then, again, that, that's good. Goes back to, you know, why I think IB is doing a great job back here. Using that corn. Using that uh, cover to kind of keep the Union on its toes. Union, the CSA. Five minutes remaining here. Now, I said there's steam chat. I might be wrong on that. Maybe there's not steam chat. That is friendly to the east. Maybe there's not steam chat in this event. I might be confusing it. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I know there's not steam chat, so that makes sense a bit more. So some of my earlier criticisms about coordination, I need to be, you know... Not so much. Not so much. Uh, still need to be coordinated, but it's harder to coordinate the charge without the steam chat, so. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking about that. The first VA trying to have a screen line over here. Now, who's at the top here? 7th AL, you kind of need to move down to support. Actually, those extra bodies might help out first VA. Ah, this is... Got a charge going on here into the MB. Union is getting the far worse of this charge, though. So they did recap, so now they get their tickets back. Now they gotta get out, but they're gonna lose a lot of tickets while they're doing it. So yeah, I do apologize earlier. I said there was Steam Chat. There is no Steam Chat in this event. So now we're at 22. Union's about, you know, three-fifths of the way down on taking losses. So you say with a decisive, uh, maybe not decisive, but a, you know, a, a sizable um, ticket advantage. Keep moving. Turn around right. The Union now, interestingly, is not going to reoccupy the top of the hill. They are now focusing most of their troops here in the corn. That is an interesting decision. 
Um, Wilkes is moving the HL back down. He's got support from multiple units here. PB, uh, MB. Southeast, southeast, so pretty southeast. sizable forces down here. And this looks like it's going to be the next big fight. It's down on this corner. Oh, that volley hurt. Get up there and get on them. Get up there and get on them. So I would not recommend staying on that fence. I would pop in, pop back into the corn, because right now you're giving a very nice target for the CSA to shoot at. Um, so this is not how I would defend the corn position here. This is way too static. The Emu's going to lose way too many tickets this way. And it's going to be hard to tell because you're in the corn. You can't really see. You don't know who's going down. There's a lot of smoke. You do have some units that have rotated out there, but I do not like this. Everyone should be. Hey, third stand. Keep independent fire. Fly down, pick it up. This is just a ticket sink right here. Now they are doing decent damage. But I, I I still don't like it. You're gonna you're gonna hit breaking before they will, and they have a unit already positioned out here. So if you charge to defend the point, this unit here will just slam you in the back. I mean you do have the advantage of those units up top there now, but now they're not in the fight. They are winning the shootout though. But I don't think they're winning it enough. We'll see. <laughs> and they have won this firefight. Um, and the CSA is being pushed back, so good shoot, good concentration by the Union. But, I, I mean, they won it, but it, it's still losing a lot of tickets. I don't know. But yeah, pound for pound, the Union won that fight. I also don't like how spread out. You see how zoom out here. See how concentrated the Union forces here. The no, Union, the CSA forces here. Union split. They got half on the top of the hill over here. Well, not half. Maybe a third quarter over here, and the rest of the team down here. It'd be a lot easier for the CSA to push on point. Now it looks like HL is moving to the side here. This is an interesting move. I guess trying to get a flank on this unit down here. Who is this against the IB? IB is waiting for it. Independent fire, boys. Keep your barrels hot. Keep your barrels hot. Use the easy targets. Easy targets. Oh, that's hey, hey, Cross fire. Take your time in your shots. Take your time in your shots. Take your time in your shots. I got it. Down the snake rail, watch down the snake rail. Southwest, gentlemen, southwest. Hey, camera. Keep your barrels hot, keep your barrels hot. I wouldn't recommend staying here. That's four, bring the Yeah, I'm pulling out. Bring the Hey, 83rd, you have our flag, so you need to come with us. To the right. Break your loads, knife court. Heading northeast, heading northeast, knife court. Stay on your side. Oh, they're going back, 23rd, about face at the sprint. So the Union has gotten back a slight ticket advantage with those engagements. But again, it's it's super close now to breaking. Roger. Reed is out of a can. <laughs> Check. Big game. Big game. 
southeast. Already shot. Oh my god! Load. Oh, Hoffman, he said That's reload, not shoot. Goofy. We're still scrimming, we're still scrimming. Oh we're not God. like closing ranks, we're just dressing right. Over there. Yeah, I see him. Alright, seven. Tuck it in right here. Armature's at the butt. Wait for the fire command. Magoo, one purpose, man. Get the fuck out. Looks like the CSA is moving into cap. Or they're going to try to pre cap. They are very close to getting them on there. It's a bit of a risky move, but I think they have the timing right. We'll see. I would send a full attack, though, right now, somewhere, while this is going on. And they're really not, so I think that's... Yeah, I think the mistiming... Well... Run, run, See, run, this, run. this is the attack. They need to wait a little bit more. They did stop the cap, which is good. See if HL can finish it off here with this shot. They carry this attack through. I think that might do it, but we'll see. Fire boys, don't fence them. Stay away from the fence boys. Keep fence. Keep fence. Keep Take a few steps back from the fence boys. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't fence them. CSA has the gone to breaking. Up and over, up and over. Ready. But just about the Union will go as well here. Ro Stop that. Stop that. There it is. Based on that attack, and now the CSA is in a great place to cap now. Just need to flood in. In fact, they were a little bit out of position for the cap. I don't know why they weren't over that fence. Ready to go. That was a little bit of an error there by them. I, I don't know why you're not flooding in right now. This is rather silly. You had it all set up, and then you kind of went back to that fence for whatever reason. And now you've got the Union come in here. Get the flag. You, grab the flag. It was all set up. Uh, Displacement by the CSA, the, the elements that were over here should have been over this fence just off of the point, just walked onto it. Um, but because they were down here by this fence, they had to take time to hop over it. That gave the Union enough time to get on point. Let's see if they can hold this charge now. This will be pretty big. If the Union can win this and knock down a couple flags and fight them forward, uh, they might get them down to final push here. Keep going. Oh, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? 
They do need to carry this attack forward. That is key for the Union right now. They can push him over and knock out all their flags. And get them onto final push here. They will be in a very good position. They can't lose this momentum, though. Get on the fence. Take the fence. The officer doesn't matter. What matters is that flag right there. There you go. Now you need to fight him forward. And if you hold this line here now, you're in very good shape. You just fight them as they move up. A good attack by the Union. Very well concentrated. We're shifting right. I'm dancing. Break them really really good attack by the Union. These are actually really good skirmishing out of line tickets right now that the Union is able to get here. They might get them down to final push here momentarily. There's another five tickets right there. They can kill Provost. There it is. Now just a couple of volleys into these guys back here. They can get them into uh, final push here. Very good coordination here by the Union. Again, without Steam Chat, that is very impressive. Again, I feel really bad by saying there was Steam Chat earlier. I do like the positioning of the CSA over here. They're playing for time, not tickets now. Now this separation here I think is a mistake. That's too many out of line there you just got. Now, now you, yeah, that was a big mistake by the Union separating like that. You got several out of line tickets that hurt you. We'll see who can do it. I think the CSA might win it. We'll see. Yep, CSA won that shootout. Again, a couple of these guys running around here getting kills out of line. That was a critical mistake. If you had to maneuver back there, you should have maneuvered back around the hill and not exposed yourself. That was a critical mistake. And again, the flag out there exposing himself. Boom. It doesn't matter now. You were on last stand, but still. You don't want to expose yourself to the enemy, and get, especially give them out of, ticket, out of line tickets. Now final push. We'll see if the Union can hold them. The Union needs to hold them forward. That's the key right now. So these guys back here need to get forward. In fact, these guys over here, I'm not a huge fan of being all the way back there by yourselves. You need to support these guys. Hey, 123rd. Up and over right. We're shifting right. 123rd. Up over right. Looks like the CSA's got it. Union became too fractured here. Way too fractured. You had it. And you and you, to be honest with you, Union you threw it. You had it.
Close match. I like the idea. Just, uh, you know, you can't expose yourself to skirmishing and out of lines at that point in the game. Yeah, holy shit. Are we cooking? No. No. Oh, fuck. No, they're coming. All right, boys. Holy shit. There you go. Very fucking goes. Bits and pieces. I'm feeding them to my pigs, you goddamn communists. See you fellows next man. Cash my decoy. Saw your dog is shit. Kill them all. 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 And the CSA will win it. Why are you running away? Just die. And a, um. Yeah. I think both of them kind of made an opening for the other side to exploit. So. So it goes, but um, HL's uh, token is victorious, so 32nd Ohio is defeated now. They uh, won last week, but this week they have uh, faced defeat, so they'll have to retreat over there in the northern side of the map. And we will see what goes on for the second side for the map. This is actually in the south, southeast portion of the map over in a wooded area. So, Very close match, though. Very close. Um, and, ver and very impressive without Steam Chat. You know, it's, I'm I keep saying it because I feel really bad because I was kind of getting down on you guys. So I was like, man, this, this should be doing better coordination, but fuck me. It is pretty good coordination without Steam Chat. But enough about that. So, mea culpa. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one.